Hello everybody, my name is Algum, and welcome to Basement Dweller, a short horror game about a ghoul in a basement, and if you let him out, he promises to definitely, absolutely not eat you. Oh, the tides of fall. There is a local cabin you know of, which rests on ancient burial grounds. Sometimes the owner rents the cabin to local students and hikers, at a very reasonable price. This time they have rented the cabin to you. You have stayed here for the better part of a week. One night you notice something. There is a trap door, secured by a chain. You thought you heard something. Hello, child. Look, I'm gonna be honest. I am a monster, and if you let me out, I will eat you. But if you can find it in your heart to look past that, I really would like to be let out. What do you say? Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, thanks. I really appreciate this. Whatever happens next, you're pretty cool. You're a pretty cool ghoul. Well, that wasn't unexpected. Your body was never found. I mean, it's to be expected. He did warn us that he was going to eat us, so... Hello, child. My name is Devin. I am 14 years old. Can you please let me out of here? Eh, this is different dialogue. You're 14? I may not look it, but I really am 14. You're being really unhelpful. How can I prove to you that I am who I say I am? Do you have an ID badge? An ID? Oh, uh, let me see. Rubbish, rubbish. Ooh. How's this? What is that? Well, it's... All right, I'll find something else. Is that a skull? Is that... Is that a corpse of someone else that you dragged down there? Second time's the charm. Uh, oops. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Now this, this is good. Is that the Necronomicon? Is this based off of the Evil Dead? What is it? A book, you nitwit. Proof of my age. How would that prove your age? Well, it... If I give it to you, that would show that I am trustworthy. Right? Eh, uh, sure, give it. Okay, then, here you go. Just give it back when you're done, alright? Can I have it back now? I'm not supposed to give it away. No. Nah. What? Why? Where are you going? Hello? Please? You found the book. Its pages call to you. They tell you of the burning wreath. They tell you of the world without. You mutter words under your breath. You taste blood. This isn't your skin. You feel cold. There's something beneath the boards. Hello?
I didn't even really have a chance to see what killed me that time, but I'm assuming it's the same tentacle monster as before. Yeah, I return. Hello, child. Look, I'm gonna be honest. Yes, you're a monster. I'm gonna need a show of goodwill, alright? I have died twice now, so... Okay, sure. What can I do? Hey, tell me about yourself. Me? Well, what is there to say? I'm some kind of monster. A ghoul is what I am in specific. Were you always a ghoul? Was I? I don't remember. I couldn't always have been this way, could I? What do you remember? Well, I... There was someone. A woman. My wife, I think? And I was... someone else. Hey, in the previous timeline you said you were 14, so, uh, uh, phew. This is gonna be a bit of an awkward story. Who were you? I was Skin and Sinu. Alive. Who was she? She was wonderful. I wonderful. I'm dead. <laughs> then she was gone. I yearned for some kind of answer. And soon enough I was here. I I should go. I should go. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Thanks for listening. You leave the cabin never to return. Hello, child. What a wonderful evening we have here today. The leaves of autumn fall in such a peculiar way. The smell of smoke from fires burning. The iron of blood from wounds concerning. Drifting to my mind a question yearning. Who are you, little one? A child of Cain. I do not know what that means. You turned the leaf of the cabin in embarrassment. That sounded really cool in your head. Well, that one's going to be a footnote in our dark history. Nah. Seriously, I need help, bub. Wait, where are you going? You leave the cabin never to return. Okay. Going to take the book, and this time around... Okay, I'll give it back. I'm not a thief. Thanks. So will you let me out? No. Eh, you know what? Sure, why not? Maybe this time you won't kill me? I see that that is not the case. Well... You're not being very helpful, you know? I'm sorry. Look, it's fine. That's being a little bit harsh. I can do that sometimes. You alright? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm sorry, bud. Do you want something? I don't know what I have. No, no, I'm alright. You sure? I have some jammy dodgers down here somewhere. What's a jammy dodger? Um, sure, why not? <laughs> You enjoy some jammy dodgers with the apologetic fiend before heading home. What an interesting vacation. See, and absolutely nothing bad happened. You're not being very helpful, you know. I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? I just don't know. What do you mean you're at soup? That's not how you respond to that. Look, just go. I don't even feel like eating you anymore. There's the door. Leave. Well, I've been booted out of the cabin. Apparently I'm such poor company that I'm not even worthy of being eaten. You're a ghoul? What do you remember? Who were you? Who was she? I'm sorry. It's okay. Ancient history. Over the next four hours, you talk to the ghoul. Soon enough, it is morning. Yeah, it's morning already? 
You should go. Do you want me to let you out? Y you sure? I could eat you. I am a monster. You know what? After hearing your fantastic story of how you slew the dragon and how you faced down Ash and managed to survive, I think I can trust you. You seem like a cool dude. Thanks for trusting me. It means a lot. You go ahead. I'll join you in a moment. You exit the cabin to a radiant morning. You turn back and see the creature in the doorway. It stands seemingly afraid. You beckon it to join you. It does, slowly entering the light. You see it for what it once was. And you are no longer afraid. See, he just needed someone to talk to, right? I mean, he lost his wife. He has to live in the basement, chewing on whatever random flesh and food happens to wander down there. I mean, I'd be pretty upset too, you know? He just needed someone to talk to. So that was Basement Dweller. Overall, just a nice, short, humorous horror game, but a cool ghoul in a basement. Obviously, there's some inspiration from the Evil Dead. I mean, the Necronomicon is there, for goodness sake. Also, I really like the art style. I know I keep saying that about a lot of games, but this one, it just has a weird nostalgic feeling to it for some reason. It feels like this would have been like a small scene and like a big RPG back in the day. Overall, good stuff. I hope to see more from the developer in the future. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and wherever you are, I wish you a good day, evening, or night, and stay safe everyone.